What's up YouTube, it's Daniel, and today I thought it would be cool to kind of go on a little rant about just my entrepreneurship ventures in the past. I kind of had a cool little company running for a little while when I was a freshman in high school, and you know, I just thought it would be cool to let you guys know about it, and you can go check it out if you want. There's still videos up online, and you know, some of them might be a little embarrassing, but that's all right. You know, so basically when I was 14, you know, even when I was that young, I was interested in making money online and entrepreneurship, and I had a real passion for hockey. I played hockey for a really long time, and I played mini sticks. So if any of you know what mini sticks, don't know what mini sticks are, they're basically like miniature hockey sticks. And like on your knees or like you just play on the floor and a lot of times at hockey tournaments and hotels you know teams would play mini sticks with each other and I was really into hockey so I was really into mini sticks at the time and there was a big need for kids wanted uh, their mini hockey stick to look exactly like their real stick like their pro model stick so you know there's different brands like Bauer and Easton and all these different kinds of professional brands that didn't make mini sticks at the time. And now they make mini sticks, they make little composite mini sticks, but everybody played with little plastic ones and nobody wanted to use, you know, the plain red or the plain green Franklin mini stick. They wanted like, you know, the total one Bauer total one stick or, you know, something cool. So I actually decided to take it upon myself and I went on Microsoft Word and I measured out the dimensions of the hockey sticks. I went on Microsoft Word and spent hours. I mean, I spent like four hours of design or so, and I made like every single pro model stick, and I'd make little name bars, just like the professional sticks, and you could put your name in it, and it was just, it was sweet. Like, it was really cool, and you can check them out. I have videos online, and I think the YouTube channel is actually under my name, but we'll hop in the computer in a couple minutes, and I'll show you the videos, but... So anyways, I just made these mini sticks and I didn't really think of anything of it at the time. I was just like, you know, making them for myself, honestly, because I thought they were like sick. So I basically just made the design, printed it out and found this like kind of gloss stuff to put on the stick and basically make it so, you know, when you taped it, the paper wouldn't rip off. And it was like just a professional glossed mini stick with like this sweet design on it and I would spray paint the stick from whatever red to like black and I would uh the blades came like a square blade so a lot of hockey sticks like the blade will be uh kind of like rounded like at the end but sometimes they're like a square so I'd cut off the kind of corners with like garden clippers and I'd sand them down till they were round and then I would boil the bottom in water and curve it to whatever curve the person wanted and I actually had a website where you could go on and custom pick your curve and your stick and what you wanted on the nameplate. And long story short, I ended up making about $1,000 a week and I did it for about a month and that was revenue. So I did about 4,000 revenue in one month when I was 14. And my dad helped me a little bit. He helped me with some Google AdWords and I had a YouTube channel, which I had no idea what I was doing and I don't know the login for it anymore. I wish I did because I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, I have this video with a mini hockey rink that I was I made in my basement and it has like 600,000 views and everybody you know is asking you know where are the stuff or where did you get the nets or where did you get you know the floor or yada 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 and if I would have put affiliate links in there I would have probably made you know a lot of money from that video so it just goes to show you that you know I had no idea what I was doing but I just found a neat a niche that wasn't tapped into yet and my video just blew up I mean you can go look it up right now and we will do it in a second but you know I just I guess I'm just trying to tell you guys that stuff like that happens and if you find a niche that is really just not developed yet and you make videos like that that just are really high in demand but there's no content out there you can easily blow yourself up really fast. I got like a thousand subscribers or 800 subscribers from a couple videos and they were the crappiest videos ever. But, you know, I had a freaking uh, iPod Nano that I recorded these videos on and it's just crazy looking back because 
you know, I wish I would have known what I know now and, you know, just the fact that I didn't know what I know now and I still made that happen just blows my mind. But anyways, let's get into the computer and I'm just going to kind of show you guys the videos and, you know, maybe we'll watch a little bit of it, but you guys can watch them yourself if you want the whole thing and let's just get into it. All right, guys, so we're in my computer now, and as you can see, I already searched mini hockey rink, and my video came up. So I obviously rank first for mini hockey rink, and that's the only thing I put as a title. And my, like, description and title are pretty, like, horrendous, to be honest, but we can open this video right here, and this is kind of cool now that I got vidIQ. I saw Tanner make a – or talk about this, so – Go get vidIQ if you have a YouTube channel and you want to kind of look more in depth to the channels like descriptions and tags and stuff. So this is what I tagged for the video. Sorry, these links won't get out of the way. So I only, I mean, I tagged like barely anything. I mean, like <laughs> this just cracks me up. I have a thousand subscribers and you know, I have, I basically just told everybody where to buy the stuff that I got, but I totally could have put affiliate links in here. And I mean, it's got 600,000 views almost, so I definitely could have made some decent money on this video. But yeah, so I won't go into playing the video because, you know, I don't know how the sound works with the screen recorder I'm using right now. But if you want to look it up, it's right here. It's just my name and then mini hockey rink. And we can go into my. Uh, channel too. See, I got like old stuff on here like Minecraft. I know you guys play Minecraft. Don't lie to me Um. So yeah here we got my videos. I got like shooting uh, Some custom sticks here the very first custom sticks that me and my friend ever made right here. I made a couple like random uh, They were just like picture videos with music They were like tribute videos and then I got my mini hockey rink and as you can see six years ago five years ago I mean this is just crazy. So I was like 14 years old. And sadly, I don't have my website anymore, but I wish I did. And I wish I could still log into this account because I probably could still, you know, push this account out and make more content for it and maybe make a kind of course about how to make mini sticks or how to make, you know, the mini hockey rink. I was thinking about doing that. So, I mean, if you're interested, any of you watching this video aren't just entrepreneurs and are actually interested in mini sticks uh, shoot me a message and if you're interested I'll make something you know on how to make the mini six that I made or how to make the rink that I made and I'll make a little course and you know sell it to you guys but yeah that's kind of just my old channel and how I made money back when I was 14 years old and you know trying to get into the entrepreneurship stuff so it just goes to show you guys that you know, I had no idea what I was doing. I just had a passion. I was like super into mini sticks. I was like, you know, hey, nobody makes pro model mini sticks. Why don't I do it? And I made them and I was like, hey, why don't I post a video to YouTube? And I was like, oh, why don't I make them for people? And it just blew up. And I made I made about two thousand dollars profit in the month. It was actually not a full month. It was about three and a half weeks. So three, two thousand profit, four thousand revenue, almost. It was about thirty six hundred, and I was fourteen years old. And obviously, I had the help of my dad, and he helped me a little bit with AdWords and uh, with the website. But I mean, it was just sweet. Like, you know, like the crazy thing is, is that I, I, I would never think you could make money from mini hockey sticks, and it just goes to show you can make money from really anything on the internet as long as you have the passion or if you find the right niche and, you know, just don't give up if you're trying to make money online or, you know, don't follow something that you're not passionate about. You know, if you're passionate about something, like, just try and find a niche that you can fit into and create your own mini niche in, you know? So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you my old business from way back when and you know, if any of you are into hockey, I'm sure you'll enjoy the videos, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.